The International Federation of Female Lawyers, FIDA, has called on women to turn up in their numbers in states where gubernatorial and state assembly elections will be held. The national president of the federation, Amina Agwaje, made this call in Abuja at the opening of the Situation Room to observe the level of women participation and violence against them in the gubernatorial and House of Assembly elections. Agbaje, while calling on INEC to ensure the early arrival of materials and personnel at polling unit, says security forces must ensure the safety of women voters as they cast their ballots. We'll observe the participation of women alongside forms of violence perpetrated against women in the 2023 governorship and state house of assembly elections through our 77 INEC accredited observers deployed across 66 polling units in the aforementioned four states. Which, uh, these four states are Plateau, Kwara, Borno and Kaduna states. An election observation tool will be administered by accredited observers at the respective polling units while leveraging on partnerships with other civil society actor groups in observing, documenting and reporting women's participation and indices, indices of violence perpetrated against women. We expect strategic deployment of security personnel across the 1,766,000 1, across the 1,176,000 1, polling units of the state towards forestalling any form of violence at the polls, which will limit the, in, the participation of women in the general elections. We expect that we will witness more participation of women at the polls. We recall that there had been a low, low turnout of voters at the just concluded presidential and national assembly elections with only about 26.7% of registered voters actually participated in the polls, with about 73.29% abstaining from the vote, voting process. Notwithstanding this low turnout, we encourage more women to exercise their franchise in the polls while calling on INEC and security agencies to provide the enabling platform for women's participation. We expect early deployment of sensitive and non-sensitive election materials at the polling units as well as election officials at the commencement of the polls. This will help to promote confidence in the system and improve credibility of the polls. We recall that the that the in just in in the just concluded presidential and national assembly elections was characterized by a lot of shortcomings with several issues ranging from late arrival of electoral materials at several polling units across the country, which led to the disenfranchisement of a lot of Nigerian voters, inclusive of women and who were affected by the, cred the credibility of the polls. Key actors in the electoral process, particularly INEC, political parties, security agents, agencies, mass media and civil society organizations need to pay increasing attention to factors limiting, limiting women's participation ahead of the governorship and state houses of assembly elections. As such, the following recommendations are considered pertinent. Number one, deployment of electoral materials, sensitive and non-sensitive, across all registration area centers and polling units timelessly is key for an improved political participatory process for women. Number two, effective collaboration and synergy with other stakeholders, especially INEC, security agencies, and election observation groups should be cultivated and sustained. Number three, securing agencies, security agencies should continually adhere to the principles of impartiality and neutrality towards securing the polls which will help in mitigating electoral violence, especially those perpetuated against women in the elections.